Hello you guys, long time no see. Today I am back with a long overdue fall try on haul from Shein. I am super excited about today's batch of clothes. I've got fun sweaters, I've got some bottoms, I've got some thanksgiving -y pieces, I've got lots of accessories and some amazing pairs of shoes, plus going out tops. So one of my better batches, I'm super excited to wear these pieces on my upcoming travels, going out to the bars, and for just like upcoming fall festivities. Per usual, I will leave links to everything down below so that you guys can shop, and I will leave my coupon code here on the screen so that you guys can save 15% off your next purchase. I hope you guys are excited, I know I am, and without further Further ado, let's hop right on in. I'm gonna start off with the jeans that I am wearing in pretty much every single try on haul I do. I wear the same pair of jeans and I always get asked where they're from. They're from Express and I typically buy my jeans from them because I can never find a good pair of Shein jeans, but I wanted to give them one last chance and I'm pleased to say that I finally hit the jackpot. I am obsessed with these. I got them in a size extra small and I'm about a 24, 25 inch waist and these fit me really well. They've got that perfect straight leg fit to them, more of a relaxed waistband. They're an ankle length. They've got a raw hem along the bottom and these jeans are just so good. I love the amount of distressing along the knees. They fit me so, so well. So you'll see me wearing these with pretty much every single top throughout this haul and these are them. They'll be the first link down there and I cannot say enough good things. I really hope that these come in multiple washes because if they do, you will definitely catch me picking them up in a few more. Moving on to some sweaters. I'm all about the sweater weather this time of year, whether you're going to the pumpkin patch, Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, whatever it may be. Um, I feel like a sweater and jeans with a pair of like sneakers or boots you just can't go wrong with. So first thing I picked up is this white sweater right here. This is not a super thick sweater. It's more of like a lightweight Henley that you can throw over either a tank top, you can throw it over just a regular bra, but it's a really great layering piece, which is why I really like this. I actually just wore this last week with a skirt that I'm going to show you later in this haul, and I got so many compliments on it. So many of you guys asked where this is from. So here she is. I am sizing up to a medium in all of my sweaters. I have longer arms and a longer torso, so I do prefer to just go up a size to give everything a little bit of extra room, make things that super slouchy oversized fit that I like. I love this because it's got more of a like boat neck and then it has that cute slit along the side so you'll see me mix and match this quite a bit as well throughout this haul. All right next sweater I actually have in tan and I love it so I picked it up in a couple of more colors. I believe this comes in five or six colors all of the basics so if you're looking to build a capsule wardrobe and you're looking to just kind of invest in a few more pieces that you can rewear over and over and over again this season I highly recommend this. It is from the Daisy collection and it's a little bit more expensive than your average sweater but it's made of a better material so it's going to hold up a little bit better it's not going to shrink in the dryer so I really appreciate that again I did get a size medium and this is like your true fall mitt super cozy super soft you can wear this on its own it's got a v-neck just layer on some gold jewelry or you can layer a flannel or like a button up underneath this for that cute little Pinterest girl layered effect and then I also got this color it's kind of like a mix between like a deep tan and it's got like a hint of olive green to it. I really love this. I felt like this warm hue would look really good with just a pair of jeans and then I have a pair of boots to match. So obsessed with this. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I've been obsessed with the like collared sweater trend right now. I've been seeing these literally everywhere, specifically all over my TikTok and on my Instagram explore page. So I picked up a sweater of my own. This has a like drop shoulder to it. So it's a little bit slouchier, which I really enjoy. And it's just white with black stripes can't go wrong with that this is the kind of sweater that looks really great with a pair of leggings or a pair of yoga pants if you're wanting to keep things super casual just toss on your uggs and a cute little puffer vest and bam you've got a really chill easy cute outfit idea thanksgiving's right around the corner and although i am studying abroad in italy and people don't celebrate thanksgiving here i will definitely be dressing up and my friends and i will definitely be going out for a fun little meal together i'm thinking that i will probably wear this like burnt orange sweater I really like this because again, similar to that last sweater, you can kind of dress this up or down. I feel like it'd be really cute with a skirt, tights, and boots, but I also think that it'd be really cute with just a pair of leggings. It's got that like button front closure, which kind of gives it more of that casual element 
can button it up if you need a little bit of extra warmth too and very soft i will say this one is not as oversized it's not as loose so if you guys want more of that like true chunky oversized fit go up all right this is technically a top not a sweater but it's got this like waffle knit texture to it that i really love i love the fit of this anything that's got like a higher neckline and it's got that boxier shoulder to it i just love with the pair of jeans that I just showed you guys and a pair of sneakers. This is like my go-to for class. Super casual, super cute still, and you just can't go wrong. I love this color as well. If you are living in a colder climate and maybe you can't just wear a t-shirt right now, just toss on a long sleeve bodysuit underneath of this, even a turtleneck to kind of peek out, and then you've got a really cute layering aspect going on. All right, let's talk about going out tops. I've been going out quite a bit here. When I was living in Kent, I was going out quite a bit. To be honest, I just really enjoy being social I like to go out to a party I like to go to the bar not necessarily to be in a drinking setting but just to socialize and I know a lot of you guys are in college as well so Shein is my go-to spot for tops I like to buy a handful of them at like a lower cost they're just a super affordable option and then me and my friends will all trade everyone kind of like rotates them it's like the sisterhood of traveling top so I picked up a few new options for all of us to wear here I actually wore this out last week and scored lots of compliments on it I love this it's just like your typical little corset style top it's got a little bit of underwire throughout the bottom of the bust and then as you can see it's got a little bit of boning throughout if you don't know what boning is it is basically that material that makes a top structured and kind of keeps everything in place it's not wire but it's like it gives a top some shape so you typically see this in corset tops this top actually has like a string right here that you can tie around the neck I just tied it along the front because I thought it was cuter but I really love this it's got stretchy elastic straps too the next top that I got is very similar in style it's got that same boning throughout and it's got the same kind of like underwire cups but as you can tell this one is a gorgeous light blue and then it's got white lace all throughout the bodice of this I love this this is so unique it's so different from anything else that I have in my closet especially here in Italy and I just feel like this kind of makes more of a statement a top that will definitely score you lots of compliments it does have like ribbon straps which I think is so fun I just tied those into a little bow we are going out tomorrow for ladies night and I will definitely be wearing this with a pair of jeans and these boots that I'm gonna show you guys later. How stinking cute, I love. All right, this top is kind of similar to the last one in the sense that it's like that lacy, more like lingerie-esque. I honestly really like that style. I know it's not for everyone, but this kind of reminds me of the Victoria's Secret like baby tops that you see all over your free page on TikTok. Look at how cute this is. It's got like a lace bust, but it's double lined. So you've got pink on the other side and then the bottom is just like a cream ivory lace. I love this. It's super stretchy and then it does have elastic straps as well. These ones are adjustable so you can kind of cater this to your chest size. Right, I also got this top and I wish I would have gotten this in a different color just because once it's on it looks very similar to the other black top that I just showed you guys but I really like the fit of this if you're looking for like a true corset style I recommend like checking this out this does not have those bustier cups as you can see it's just a little bit of ruched material along the front it's got thicker straps they are adjustable in the back and then this one does zip up the back so if you are in between sizes go up in this that zipper does make this a little bit tighter I'm wearing an extra small in all of these pieces and I'm about a 34 B in the chest all right this next top I got could definitely be worn out but it could also be worn on an everyday basis too at least I think because it's like business in the front party in the back I've actually been seeing this top all over Amazon and the reason why I didn't get it from Amazon is because the Amazon one is made out of polyester and spandex which is a slinky more like um think like swimsuity kind of material that's what polyester and spandex feels like this one is cotton and polyester which is like soft it feels more breathable and I just prefer that material better so I got this it's basically a mock neck like high neck along the front so cute I love the cap sleeve this looks amazing with either like a scarf tied around the neck or layered necklaces kind of a fun accessory but then the back is entirely open I love a good open back I think it's so effortless it's sexy without trying to be you know 
know? So you could wear this with a pair of trousers, you could wear this with jeans, you could wear it with a skirt. I just feel like there's so much you can do with this. I do believe this comes in white as well, and now that I know how much I love this, I'll definitely have to grab it in the white too. Right, next top I have, I actually have in the black as well, and I will say that the black is more of like a going out vibe. I've worn the black out to the bars several times, so have my roommates, and I loved that top, so I picked it up in white as well. The fit of this is amazing. It's got like a slight cap sleeve to it, and then it's got a sweetheart neckline that's just super flattering, and I wanted to pick it up in the white. I feel like the white is not as dressy. You could wear this with jeans and boots and a flannel over top and like go to class in this. It's not super, super dressy. It's not like overly revealing either, so kind of a good top that you can transition from day to night in. All right, I love scarves right now. I picked this up originally intending on wearing it like tied around my bag but then I was like you know this would make a really cute bandana top so basically I just folded this in half and then tied it around the back wore it with a pair of trousers got so many compliments on this it's very rare that I mix brown and black I don't know like it feels like wrong even though I know that it can end up being super cute so this made it like kind of effortless because it mixes the brown and the black already in it I love this. Again, you could wear this in your hair. You can wear this as a regular scarf. You can do so much with scarves. And as I'm studying abroad in Italy, I find that they are the pieces that I reach for most often. So if you are planning on studying abroad soon, I highly recommend adding a few of these to your collection before going. All right, this basic tee. I just love a good little cropped moment. So I picked this up just to wear with jeans and a pair of sneakers to class. I'm always looking for a good little basic grabbed this and this is in like a lighter tan i'm wearing this in a size extra small and it's pretty short if you want a little bit of extra length i'd say size up all right and then the last thing that i got top wise is actually this black just like basic long sleeve this is from the daisy collection and usually i find that the daisy collection has much higher quality pieces but i wasn't super impressed with this it's like a mix of polyester that has like a cheaper feeling to it it's still soft but it's not my favorite it buttons up a few times along the front just to wear with like leggings sweats whatever around the house definitely will still get use out of this but i know that there are better pieces this same style on their website if that makes sense right. and then i've got some bottoms thanksgiving is around the corner and I cannot stop thinking about it. I know a lot of you guys like to plan your Thanksgiving outfits beforehand so I feel like all of these bottoms would be like good options like something fun. The first is a skirt, and you guys already saw me wear this with that white sweater at the beginning of this video. Just a brown and white little gingham moment. I love a skirt like skirt in the front shorts in the back can't go wrong with that gives you the mobility of a pair of shorts but you still look cute this skirt runs pretty short I will say I'm about 5'2 five 5'3 five and I still felt like this was kind of short on me so just putting that out there but very cute with a pair of like tights and boots that would be a really easy way to transition this into the colder months as well if maybe that's not your vibe then perhaps this skirt is this is like more of a wool skirt and it's got like dark chocolate brown and then a light tan it's kind of like a houndstooth and it's like definitely more of a business casually piece you could make this work for literally so many occasions it's a little bit longer which is why i think that it's appropriate for the office if you just threw on a pair of tights and boots with this this, but I don't know I love it it will say this runs a little bit big I struggle with things that do not have an elastic waistband from Shein being too large on me um, this is like more of a 25 inch waist and I'm usually more of a 24 so you know it's got a little extra wiggle room but not too bad All right trousers you guys have been on a major trouser kick and I have a pair of chocolate brown trousers from Princess Polly that I absolutely love I get so many questions on them but they are pretty pricey I believe they're like almost $50 and they're amazing quality but I've been on the hunt for a pair of trousers that fit similarly but are a cheaper price point so I got these and I will say these fit me beautifully these are not an elastic waistband but they fit really well I'm wearing them in an extra small they come in a bunch of different colors and I got this brown it's a little bit it's like more of like a chestnutty brown but I love the fit of these they like are great length they've got pockets they've got belt loops as well if you wanted to add a belt with this 
I will say that these definitely do feel cheaper than the Princess Polly ones. They are definitely a little bit thinner. Not They don't have as much structure to them, but they're still really cute. If you're working in an office and you are looking for a business casual piece as well, I feel like these would be a really good option. I know that trousers though are just like really trendy for everyday wear here in Europe, so I'll definitely get used out of those. Then the last pair of bottoms that I got are these like corduroy straight legs. I've been seeing corduroys everywhere. I have a pair of boot cut corduroy like pants here from American Eagle and I love them. I've been wearing them so much. So I decided to get a straight leg pair as well. And these kind of like feel like you're wearing sweatpants, but you look really cute in them. Like they give you more of that elevated feel, which I love because you can be comfortable, but you don't have to be like, you know, like ugly. You don't have to be wearing an ugly outfit. So it's got an elastic waistband. These are super stretchy. They've got a little white patch stitched into the front. They have a few different colors in this. I figured you can't go wrong with black. And corduroy is one of those things that actually keeps you very warm. So if you are in a colder climate and you're looking for something that's going to keep you toasty, highly recommend these. Wear with a bodysuit tucked in. Wear with a good little chunky sweater and a fun jacket and you're good to go. Three random fun pieces really quick. I picked up a pair of overalls. I've been loving overalls right now. I'm in like a denim like short all kind of thing and I don't know I just they've been speaking to me so I picked these up. They are like a light tan and they say fashion stitched on the front which I'm not in love with but you can't really read it from far and these have like the perfect slouchy oversized fit to them. They definitely have like a cheaper denim feel to it but I feel like I prefer that when it comes to overalls I want something that's a little bit looser and not super structured and like stiff and crunchy so I like these they're oversized in the best way I'm wearing a size small in these with a black long sleeve and a pair of black sneakers you can't go wrong I just love overalls I'm so glad they're coming back get a pair. all right then I got this dress this is from the Shein Basics collection and I'm sure you've heard me talk about that collection a hundred times. I absolutely love the pieces from that. They are typically a blend of cotton, so they are super breathable, very soft, and they launder really well. They don't shrink up, and I've been eyeing this dress for some time now. It's like a midi maxi, and it's got a little slit along the sides. Kind of reminds me of some of the free people in Abercrombie styles I've recently been seeing. Super chill fit to this. I love this style dress because you can wear a cardigan with it, you can tie a flannel around the waist, you can wear a jacket with it, like it's really easy to transition this piece from season to season. I got it in the light tan, figured I could wear this now, I could wear it with a pair of fun strappy sandals in the summer, so big fan, definitely will be getting that in more colors. And if you're on the shorter side, you don't have to worry about it being too long. Alright, last thing I got, I actually got because my roommate Lauren asked me to pick it up for her, and I'm obsessed with it. I put this on and I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. She told me that this is actually a dupe for a Love Shack fancy piece, which I think is so fun. As you can see, it's like a mix of pink and white paisley, which I love. It's got those tiered ruffles, it's got like bishop sleeves that have a little bit of elastic around the cuff, and it's got a little bit of boning throughout the chest I love this like I cannot wait to wear this and take a picture in it um, definitely a fan it's that cheaper polyester material as you can probably tell just from the sound of it but I felt like this still had a good fit to it, so two thumbs up on this one. All right, let's talk about shoes. I got three awesome pairs from Shein this time around, and I'm super excited about them. First pair I got are specifically to be going out shoes. When I came here, I like didn't really think about the fact that I don't have a going out boot to wear to the bars and the clubs and things like that, so I picked these up. I feel like they're a safe bet. They've got more of a square toe and about a two and a half inch heel, which I love. Super cute with a pair of straight leg jeans, but they also really elongate the legs with like leather shorts the key to a boot that's going to be flattering and elongate the legs is something with a higher shaft which is this right here the higher it is usually the longer it will make your legs look it also slims them down I just got this color because I figured I could wear this with brown outfits or I could wear them with black as well just kind of a good neutral all right I'm a sucker for a good Chelsea heeled boot these remind me a lot of my favorite Steve Madden boots that I have here which are called the hutch and I I wanted something that was like a deeper chestnut to kind of layer with this season so I picked these up they've got a lugged sole to them which means they've got that like interesting bottom and they're super chunky they look really tall but they're in reality not even a two inch heel it's just that they have more of a platform to them these are so cute I'm very excited I will say that sometimes I struggle with the sizing of their shoes um, just because I am in between a seven and a half and eight I ended up getting an eight which is a European 39 and 
all of these fit me really well even with a thicker sock I do like to wear my boots with like a cute sock peeking out and had no troubles with these so yay all right and then my closet has really been lacking a like transitional shoe here I feel like I have sneakers I have boots I have sandals but I don't have that good in between fall shoe I have a pair of these at home in Maryland from Target and obviously I am currently living in Italy studying abroad so I did have to pick up a new pair these were like under $20 they are a great business casual shoe if you're looking for something that is professional but not super stuffy I highly recommend these you can literally type in black loafer into your Pinterest explore page and hundreds of outfits will come up I've worn these for years and I wear them like with literally everything you can't go wrong very cute super cool. all right and then I couldn't resist a few accessories I did pick up a three pack of headbands I don't know guys I've kind of been like on a headband kick I think they're fun I've been seeing them all over my Instagram explore page my Pinterest feed so I picked them up this one came with like a light tan it came with the dark brown and then also came with the black I feel like it just adds something fun like a cute little detail it's a really easy way to tie a color back into your outfit and they take up literally no space so it's kind of an easy accessory for me to pack pack to elevate an outfit while I'm traveling literally every single weekend here. And then the last thing that I got is this little black leather Baker Boy cap. I've actually had one of these years ago and I wore it all the time. I don't know where it went. It got lost in one of my moves and I bought a new one for my European travels. I feel like this is just like so Italy. I wore it in Milan with a cute little dress and I got so many compliments. I'm obsessed. I know this isn't everyone's style, but if you're studying abroad soon or you're planning a trip to Europe you need one of these you'll look like the chicest girl in town so yeah all right you guys that is going to be all for this Shein haul I hope that you guys enjoyed and that this gave you some inspiration on spicing up your fall wardrobe if you guys want to see more of these be sure to give this video two thumbs up and hit the subscribe button I post them pretty much every few weeks so if you guys are looking to refresh your wardrobe and see the best affordable honest styles from Shein um I'm your girl. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video.